South Africa and Russia relations date back to the dark apartheid days. Some of the country's freedom fighters have either studied or received military training in Moscow, but now relations are more about economic and political cooperation. In a historic moment, Russia has landed the world's biggest military planes at a military base in Pretoria on Wednesday in a rare display of cooperation between the two countries. The two blackjack bombers capable of launching missiles are the first to ever land on African soil. The arrival of the aircrafts in Africa's most industrialized nation comes as Russia hosts for the first time 40 African heads of state in Sochi. Russia is now competing with China and the United States for stronger economic ties on the continent. In a move to escalate the race, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced some debt relief for African nations. Росатом готов предложить африканским партнерам создание атомной индустрии, что называется под ключ, строительство исследовательских центров на базе многоцелевых реакторов. With Africa's colonial history with Europe, President Putin emphasized that relations between his country and Africa should not benefit one party more than the other. Russia is also trying to change its image on how it relates with other countries. President Putin says his country is now one of the top 10 largest suppliers of food to the African market. He says there are more exports of agricultural products to the markets than weapons. But that's an image that will be difficult to change in South Africa after the historic landing of those two blackjack bombers in Pretoria. Matuba Mahlachi for Telesur in Pretoria, South Africa.